happy Friday. I've got such a fun project for our last lesson of the week. We need to start it off, we need a toothpick. I only have a giant toothpick, so this is what I'll be using. We need a measuring cup or two, flour, salt, and a big mixing bowl and a spoon. So today what we're making, since we're learning about the ocean, is we're making starfish. And we're gonna be able to design them ourselves and then once we cook them, we're going to be able to paint them. So have mommy or daddy preheat the oven to 250 degrees and I'm gonna get all set up and then we're gonna start mixing our starfish dough. All right, friends, so I set this up like this so you could see everything going into the bowl and how I'm measuring. So first thing I need is a cup of flour. And I want you guys to do all the measuring, okay? Take your time. It's a little messy, I know, but that's okay. So, and you remember we have to level it out, level it out just like we make Play-Doh at school. See, I've leveled it out, I've flattened it. So one cup of flour, I'm gonna dump it right in. Then we need our salt. So we are going to measure our salt. All right, taking my time. Okay. And I'm gonna dump it in. That's my salt. And now I need one cup of water. So I'm gonna go fill this cup up with water. So now we are going to mix this up. You guys wanna watch? So it's gonna become more like a dough. And then we get to make our starfish. So starfish are so cool. They can be, they can live up to 30 years old. Isn't that awesome? They also can, if they lose an arm, they can just regrow them. That would be awesome if we could do that. They also, I mean, I've seen so many different color starfish. I've seen red ones, orange ones, blue ones. There can be green ones, brown ones. All right, I'm going to put you down so I can really stir this guy up. Now, it may look like cookie dough, but we don't want to eat this. Be very, very yucky. Very salty, right? Like salt water. Do we think this starfish is dense or not dense? My little scientists. Okay, so now I've created my little ball of dough. So I'm gonna take it out. And I'm going to knead it a little bit more. Oh, it feels like Play-Doh. This is fun. Okay, so the next step is we are going to break this in to five pieces because starfish have five legs or arms. And you know starfish aren't fish, even though it says fish in their name. They're actually part of the sea urchin family. Okay, so let's roll this baby up. Now I'm gonna break it into five pieces. I'm kind of gonna make a big starfish, I think. Two. Three. 
four, five. Not a little extra, but that's okay. All right, so then I'm gonna roll it into its little arms. And I'm gonna place this onto my baking sheet. Roll it into its little arm. And this is what, number two. And I'm gonna connect it. And number three. Number four. And number five. Okay, so I'll switch this and check this out. So I've got my starfish, but I'm gonna mush them together, flatten them out a little bit, and then I'm gonna design with my toothpick. I'm gonna do some lines. And some dots. Oh, he's so cute. All right, and dot in the middle, maybe? Maybe a few. All right, there's my starfish. So now I'm gonna pop this in the oven at 250 degrees for, let's see, two hours. And then it's gonna cool, and then once it cools, you get to paint it. All right, boys and girls, send me a picture of your painted starfish and maybe name your starfish. I'm gonna really think what I'm gonna name this guy. And then I'm gonna paint him a bunch of different colors because starfish can be really any color. All right, friends, have a great weekend. I miss you all so much. Hopefully to see you this Saturday at the Mother's Day event. And, have fun today. Bye.